Enforcement Directorate on Tuesday said it has attached immovable assets and equity shares worth about Rs. 752 crores as part of its ongoing money laundering investigation against the Congress promoted National Herald newspaper and companies linked to yield the view. Provisional attachment order came as the elections in five states of Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Telangana and Mizoram are in progress and the counting of votes in schedule to be held on December 3rd. The Congress called the agency actions as uh, PT Vedanta tactics and dubbed the EDA a coalition partner of the BJP which it claimed is steering at a certain defeat in the assembly polls. The federal probe agency alleged in a statement that in this case the shareholders and donors of the Congress were cheated by the office wearers of AGL and the party. A provisional attachment by the federal probe agency under the prevention of money laundering act against associated journals limited and young indian the national heritage published by agl and owned by young indian private limited congress leaders sonia gandhi and rahul gandhi are majority shareholders of young indian with 38 percent shares held by each one of them in the statement the ed said it has issued in an order to provisionally attach properties worth rupees 751.9 crore in the money laundering case being investigated under the PMLA. Under the law, such a provisional order has to be approved by the adjudicating authority of PMLA in a time period of six months following which the ED can take possession of the attached properties. Investigation revealed that Associated Journals Limited is in Possessions of proceeds of crime in the form of immovable properties spread across many cities of India such as Delhi, Mumbai and Lucknow to twin of rupees 661.69 crore and young Indian is in possession of proceeds of crime to the tune of rupees 90.21 crore in the form of investment in equity shares of AJL it's a National Herald's immobile assets include official premises at ITO in Delhi and one near Kaiserbag in Lucknow. The Gandhi's Congress President Malikarjun Kharge and party leaders Pawan Bansal, D.K. Sipkumar and his MP brother D.K. Suresh were questioned and their statements were recorded by the agency in connection with the case last year. According to sources, they may call Again, for questioning before the ED files a chart sheet in the case, the money laundering case stems from a court order, Metropolitan Magistrate of Delhi, that took cognizance of a private complaint against alleged irregularities in the National Herald appears on June 26, 2014. The court had held that seven accused persons and entities, including Young Indian Prime Fascia committed offenses of criminal breaches of trust under various sections of the IPC including cheating and dishonesty including delivery of property, dishonest misappropriation of property and criminal conspiracy, the ED said. The accused persons has a criminal conspiracy to acquire properties worth hundreds of crores of AGL through a special purpose vehicles, Young Indian. Yeah, AGL was, yeah, AGL was given land on concessional rates in various cities of India for the purpose of publishing newspapers. The agency said it, yeah, added the word AGL closed its publishing operations in 2008 and started using the properties for commercial purposes, it alleged. It said AGL had to repay a loan of Rs 90.21 crore to All India Congress Committee. However, AICC treated the said loan of Rs 90.21 crore as non recourse coverable from AGL and sold it for rupees 50 lakhs to a newly incorporated company Young Indian without any source of income to pay even rupees 50 lakh by their action. The shareholders of AGL as well as donors of Congress party were cheated by the office bearers of AGL and Congress party the agency claimed. Bien report.